Hey guys, in today's show we're going to show you how to do a software update using this here SanDisk thumb drive. So stay tuned. Hey guys, on today's show we're going to show you how to do a software update on your Kenwood Exelon radio. So stay tuned. So the first thing we want to do is go to Kenwood.com, select your country, and then car audio, and then whether you want Exelon or regular line. In this case, we wanted Exelon. We're interested in this guy right here, which is the DDX793. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. There's also updates for the 593 and the 393. Come over here where it says support. And then come over here where it says software or firmware. And then down here, click on that one. Now you'll see there's two tabs. You have system firmware updates as well as application firmware update. There's two separate updates that they want you to do. So the first thing you do is scroll down until you see where it says download file. Go ahead and click on that and click save. Then it is gonna go ahead and start downloading. Once it is done downloading, go ahead and scroll back up to the top, click application firmware update. Go ahead and scroll down to where you see, see the download file. Go ahead and click on that, let it download, save. Now once they're done downloading, you'll go ahead and see two folders on your desktop. You have to put one at a time or use two thumb drives. So let's go ahead and open one. Now what we want to do is put in a thumb drive. So once you have the thumb drive plugged in, Come over to your computer, select, right click on the thumb drive, click format, make sure it's formatted to FAT32, go ahead and click start. Make sure there's nothing else on the thumb drive, click yes, okay, once it's done, go ahead and double click on that, click on this, right click, hit copy. Go back and select paste. And this is what you'll end up with. At this point you can go ahead and eject it and insert your next one. Put the next one in, go ahead and repeat the process, hit format, hit start, it's going to give you all the cool warnings, click OK, get out of this. Double click, go to the next folder, select both folders, hit copy, go back to the thumb drive and select paste. Go back, hit eject. Now it's time to go to the radio in the car. Okay, so now what we want to do is select gears. Go to system, scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says system information and select enter. Now you have application and system. We'll go ahead and update the application first, so hit update. Take the thumb drive that says application and plug it into the unit's USB. Okay, once the update is done, take a pick tool and push in the glowing red Kenwood icon to reset the radio and unplug the USB. Turn off the demo. Select finish. Go to gears. System. Scroll back down. Hit enter. Now we'll go ahead and update the system version. Plug the USB drive in. All right, so then again, press in the red Kenwood icon to reset the unit. Unplug the thumb drive. Now the unit will boot up for the last time. Let's 
go ahead and turn the demo off. Set any other features you need to. Scroll down and select finish. So you've gone ahead and updated it. You're all set and ready to go. If you send in your registration card, Ken will notify you anytime there's an update available for you. Typically they do updates two to three times a year depending on how much information they find wrong with the unit and or how many updates they want to do to add in new features. Bonus. Uh, all right guys, as usual, subscribe. Thank you for watching. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. You guys have a great night, and we'll see you later next time. Bye.